Hello guys, today in this video I will show you how you can implement full calendar in your project. So for that we have to install a package. Uh, so I will go to the official side of full calendar here. So I will type here full calendar angular. And you can see the link angular component docs full calendar. So I will go to the this site. And you can see angular component here in the left side panel and now i will scroll the page and you can read the document here to know more about full calendar so here is the installation command you can see here npm install hyphen double hyphen save that's the installation command so i will copy this command and i will go to the visual studio code so you can see here i already opened a terminal where my project is running on local server 4200 so uh, for to install this command i will open another terminal so here is the terminal and i will open a new terminal and now i will paste this installation command and i will press in, enter from my keyboard and it will take some time to install so now you can see here the installation is now completed so when we install any package that are stored into the node models folder so i will go to the node models folder here is the node models folder and you can find it full calendar which i install now oh yes you can see here this is the full calendar which i install now and here you can see core and here is the css link core main.css so then we have to add the link in our angular.json file and here is the day grid um, main.css so we have to add the link in angular.json file so i will go to the angular.json file so first of all i will close the node modules and i will open an angular.json file here is the uh, angular.json file you can see here and i will open it and i will scroll the page so now here you can see this styles array so above the style.css link you can see here here i will add the link of full calendar css so uh, i will scroll this and my full calendar package is stored into the node models folder so i'll open the node models folder and here you can see full calendar so i will add the link so first of all double inverted comma and into the double inverted comma node underscore modules because it's stored into the node modules folder and slash and you can see here into the node models folder you can see at the rate full calendar so here i will write at the rate full calendar and into the full calendar uh, i will add the link core main.css so you can see here is the core so cy core slash you can see main dot css so main dot css and here is the comma for separate this line and again i have to add another css link so first of all i will copy this and here i will paste it and the another css link is i will close this code and the another css link is you can see day grid so instead of core i will write a day grid and you can see day grid and then main.css so here is the main.css so i don't need to change it and i will press ctrl s to save 
and I will close the angular.json file and I will go to the browser and now here you can see in the app module.ts file so in the app module.ts file you can see this line is for full calendar you can see here so I will copy this import line and in the visual studio code I will open the app module.ts file So here is the module.ts file and here I will paste this import and again I will go to the browser and you can see here is the import array. So into the import array this is for full calendar. So I will copy this full calendar module and in the Visual Studio code I will scroll this page and here you can see imports array so here I will co add comma and I will paste full calendar model and I will press ctrl s to save and close it so after the link and the uh, import this so we need to restart our server so here is the terminal and in the first terminal our project is running on local server 4200 so first of all we have to Please close this server so I will press Ctrl C to terminate Y for ES and again I will run this so ng sar so now it's compiled successfully so again I will go to the browser and Uh, you can see in the app component.ts file that means uh, in which component I want to run full calendar so there I have to import this line so in the browser you can see I want to run here in the home component.html file so in the home component.ts file I will paste this import line and here so in the export class I have to add this line also so here is the export class so I will add this line below the ng on in it here and in the HTML file you can see app component.html file I have to add this line so I will press ctrl C to copy and in the HTML file here I will paste this and now I will go to the browser so you can see it's added full calendar and now here I will scroll the page so you can add another some properties I'll like here you can see weekend calls and events you can add so I will copy this and uh, here you can see here I will enter and I will paste these properties here and press ctrl s to save and I will change the change the event date so 2020 01 and I will go to the browser so you can see here it's added the event and you can change the month also so and now the weekend is false so if I write at 2 and you can watch the difference 
so you can see here the changes so in this way you can implement full calendar in your project so hope guys you like this video so please subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon to get more videos of angular